This is a short profile of the reed avocado variety. We'll talk about some distinguishing characteristics of this tree so that you can decide on whether you might want to plant one in your yard. This particular tree here is about 12 feet tall and 12 feet wide and it's been in the ground for six years. To give you a sense of its shape, let me come over here because there's some other trees next to it. Usually people talk of reeds as being an upright avocado variety. And I think it's true, I agree, but you should know that the fruit is big and heavy and reed also produces well. And when those limbs get weighed down with a lot of fruit, they tend to start um, sagging. So I'm taking this video in uh, sort of late August. This is August 20th. And the young fruit is <clears throat> starting to size up. And what you'll see about now is that these branches that were fairly upright are starting to get weighed down as the fruit gets bigger. And they uh, start, to, start to get more lateral. They droop and they can get exposed to sunburn. And if there's enough fruit on a single branch, it can even snap the branch, especially if there's some high winds. So, sure, reed is an upright avocado variety, but inside the canopy now, uh, have a quick look around and you'll see that there are quite a few young fruit. Reed uh, is a, a pretty good producer and it's... Um, a consistent producer too. You see that trunk over there? That is a lamb tree, uh, which is also an A-type flower. There are no B pollinizer avocados nearby, and yet this reed produces just fine without that year after year. It's a consistent producer too. Um, at this size, the, the fruit's pretty good to go. Here in like late August, the fruit's about egg size. And, uh, even if we get some significant heat over a hundred, no big deal. Most of this fruit will probably hold with some good watering, but reed is a really late bloomer. It um, flowers and sets fruit even through June. And because of that, if you live in an inland location and you get early heat waves, reed can be uh, susceptible to dropping a lot of its young fruit in those early heat waves because, because the fruit will be so small. Nevertheless, back outside the tree now, Reed is a pretty heat-tolerant variety, um, especially the foliage. It really gets very little sunburn um, compared to other varieties, compared to, say, Hass. In fact, the only sunburn you see on this tree are these leaves, really. And it so happens that these leaves aren't reed. This is a... <laughs> A graft of Charwell. So you can get a sense of maybe the difference in heat tolerance between reed and other varieties there. Another tolerance that reed has that's very nice is um, chloride tolerance. The, the saltiness of our water in Southern California doesn't affect reed as much as it does some other varieties. So the tree ends up um, looking more attractive year-round, especially in the winter, compared to some avocado trees.
maybe you'd like to grow reed in your yard.